In this video, we're going to take a look at the in-painting feature that was just released inside of Midjourney called Vary by Region. Vary by Region allows you to now edit parts of your image that you've created by using a selection tool and then sending a new prompt to just that one part or parts that you've chosen. To do this, there's a couple of things that we need to do first. The first thing is, you can only use the in-painting tool on an upscaled image. So, we'll need to do that. The next thing, and if you've already been trying this and you're having problems, is you need to have remix mode turned on. So we'll do that too. Let's start with an image prompt. We'll say an empty desert landscape, nighttime, dark, stars in the sky. And we're gonna give it a landscape aspect ratio with dash dash AR 16 by nine. Once we get the generated images back, we'll go ahead and take a look at them and then pick one that we like. Once you have one, you need to upscale it by choosing the upscale option down here underneath the image grid. And now that we have our upscaled image, we can see the new options below it. The option that we're looking for right now is Vary Region. This is Midjourney's in-painting tool. But if you've already tried this and you select it right now, you'll get the edit window where you can make your selections, but you'll see that there's nowhere for you to put in a new prompt. That's because we first need to turn on remix mode. Close this window and in the message box, enter forward slash prefer remix and then hit enter twice. You'll then get a message that remix mode has been turned on. Now that you've done that, go ahead and hit the very option again. And now in the edit window, you'll see a prompt box. Okay, so let's see how this thing works. Down at the bottom, you have a couple of selection tools. You have a basic square selection, and then you also have a lasso tool. It depends on the selection that you're making, if you need to be precise, or if you're just selecting an area as to which one that you're gonna wanna use. You also have an undo button here at the top left, just in case you make a selection that you want to undo. I'll go ahead and make a selection here, and then when I'm done with that, I'll put in a new prompt at the bottom that I want to edit or add to the image. So I'll say something like, a UFO spacecraft flying through the sky. When you're ready, hit the arrow here to send the new prompt. Midjourney will then take that and then generate four new images with your new prompt edition. One tip here that I found, if you're having an issue with getting Midjourney to add what you need, try making your selection size larger. It might just need more space of the image to work with. You can then continue doing this, adding more and more to the image by choosing the new image out of these to upscale, and then once you get the upscaled image back, choosing Vary Region option again, and keep on adding to the image just like we did before. Make a selection, add or edit the prompt, and then send that back to Midjourney. You can play around with this new tool, trying different prompts and selecting different regions to get what you want. It might not always work out right away at first, but the biggest thing I found is by taking the selection tool and making your selection larger than what you want to use, that usually gets around any of the issues I've had. And that's how you use the new Vary by Region option for in-painting on an image inside of Midjourney.